Hey guys, welcome back. I want to share with you a experience I had with this BMW behind me. And let's jump inside and I'll show you what's going on. It's a 2012 BMW uh, 328i xDrive. Um, the vehicle's running right now, but no cluster, no uh, infotainment. I'm not sure what BMW calls it. I don't work on a lot of BMWs. Um, climate control is dead. A lot of stuff doesn't work in here. Um, pretty much the only thing that does work is the engine and I believe power windows. Um, I've already figured this one out, but let me uh, show you what I did. I hooked the snap-on scanner up and scanned it. Got all of those codes. Um, actually, I only got about half of those the first time. And the instrument panel lit up for a brief second. I scanned it again and I was able to access a few more modules. But most of these codes are powertrain CAN message, um, CAN message, car access um, interface, no message, no message. So communication issues. Um, let me see if I can find. So I wasn't able to access this one to begin with, but once I did access it, I got a K line, our K CAN line fault and communication fault. So this gave me an indication of which data bus I was dealing with. Now, several of those modules do get power um, from one of the relays. So I did check power at the fuse block. I had power. So I printed up the wiring diagrams. Here's the data link connector. The, the K-Line data bus isn't listed on here, but based off of the other modules that are on the K-Line, the green and the orange and the green wires go to the K-Line bus. But I put my breakout box onto the data link connector and checked the, uh, it's not gonna focus, there we go. I checked the two pins that have the same color as the K-Line and I got absolutely nothing. Um, but it doesn't show those wires going from the data link connector to any of the other modules except for the car information computer. And even on my uh, breakout box, those lights weren't flashing. Um, I did have a little bit of voltage, but I, I don't know if there was uh, just feedback voltage or what. Um, just a little bit of noise going on. So I looked through here and I tried finding uh, some of the modules that were easy to access where I could tie into the K line. And what I came up with is there's a couple in the left rear compartment. Let me find where they're at here. Or, or right rear of the rear compartment. So comfort access, tire pressure control. Um, I couldn't find the tire pressure control, the RDC module in the back, at least based off of imagery I found on the internet. Um, it says that it's in the right side of the rear compartment, but the parking module, I believe it's the one. I just found the, uh, the two pins that are tied into this key line and tied into those. And I can't remember which one I hooked up to. Both of these modules in here have the uh, K line going to them. And this is the waveform I get. Um, and not very pretty. And I'm not super familiar with BMWs, so I wasn't sure what I was looking for. I'm more uh, familiar with the domestic stuff. But I thought it was kind of weird that this here is nothing but noise. Let me zoom in on that. And we're right around zero volts. It's almost like uh, this line is shorted. And I don't know where it's normally supposed to sit. Um, I did jump on an IATN, but I didn't find any known good waveforms that were from a Pico scope and that were clear to read. Um, a lot of them were just from other scopes. And I didn't, I didn't spend a lot of time looking. But the, uh, the other line isn't too bad. It's got some noise. Let me zoom in here. So. You know, this stuff is pretty good looking, but, you know, without knowing what it's supposed to look like, I wasn't sure if that is normal or not. Now, I remember Diagnosed Dan having a video. I can't remember if it was the one titled, The Car That Diagnosed Dan Couldn't Fix, or if it was another video. Um, in that video, he was uh, kind of tricking us. But I'll find that video and put a link to it down below. But he was talking about a BMW with a communication issue very similar to this. 
and it had an add-on trailer module or something. Um, this one didn't have that, but now I told you I couldn't find the TPMS module or the RDC module. Well, after some further searching on IACN, I found an article saying that it's not at the right side of the rear compartment, like the uh, wire diagram and component locator shows. It's actually behind the rear wheel. Actually, before we go over there, I'm going to start this again. So I pulled this panel down, and this module just clips in. Um, it's just four wires, I believe, maybe five going to it. So let's unplug this module. Now the car is running, but not concerned with that. Module's unplugged, there's no corrosion in there. Now look at that, that's a lot better signal, and that's what I'm used to seeing. So, you know, I don't work on a lot of these, so I wasn't able to just jump in and know exactly where this was at. Um, a little bit of research led me to find where it was located on the vehicle, even though my wiring diagram and component locator said it was inside the trunk. So I need to get one of these modules, and I believe it has to be programmed or coded into the vehicle. I'm not sure if that's something I need a factory scan tool to do, or if I can do it with the J2534, or if I can do it with the Autel. And back in the car, now we have the dash lit up bunch of warning lights on this is lit up but it says electrical system there are a bunch of codes in the system so we'll have to uh, clear all that stuff out after we fix it so this is my first experience with BMW communication issues um, I guess all in all it's very similar to other stuff it's just uh, it's harder for me to find correct repair information I'm not used to using the BMW um, parts of Pro Demand. Um, I looked through Identifix a little bit to see what repair information they had, um, which they had zero information on the electrical issues I was having. Um, IATN, um, I just punched in K-Line communication bus and I found a couple of pictures. They weren't great, but they looked similar to what I normally would see. And then I found a, an article saying that the uh, information about that RDC module was incorrect and that it's actually located underneath the vehicle. So I don't know if the customer is going to have us replace that module or if they're going to do it themselves. It's actually a, a local used car dealership um, and a new car. It's a Ford dealership in town. But um, someone traded this in. I don't know if it had that issue when they traded it in. Technician pulled it in to do an inspection, changed the oil, went to pull it back out and do his test drive. Everything shut down. <laughs> Bum deal for the dealership, but it probably won't take too much to fix it. Um, if I can do it here, then great. If I can't program that, then we'll have to send it up to the BMW dealership because we don't have any mobile uh, diagnostic techs or programmers in our area. Um, so it'll be just as easy for them to uh, take it to their satellite facility, which is right next door to the BMW dealership. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Questions, comments, I'll try to answer those. Put them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.